Well, looking at these streetcars, their design, how they move on the yeah. tracks, you're a public artist. Is this art? Oh, it's an amazing thing. I, I'll never forget the first time I saw a Tucson streetcar on Tucson rails. I was at uh, the, uh, the U of A parking garage. I just got out of a meeting with President Hart, and I was getting into my car, and I heard the dong, dong, by a streetcar horn. I turned around, and there it was. It was this incredible feeling, and the thing that came to me more than anything else was it was like a majestic whale. It's so big and so smooth and so silent and graceful as it goes along the track. It's different from any other mode of transportation, and it's right there with us. So, it, I mean, like, no one's really afraid of a whale in theory. I don't know how many of us actually swim with whales. I don't think any of us. But the idea that this big, graceful vehicle can just glide among us and sort of be part of our human family here, it's, it's I don't know, maybe that so, sounds too artsy. Are we like Jonah in the whale then? Well, we could go into the, except for this is a very friendly Jonah. And it's, <laughs> it, it hurts less to be vomited up. <laughs> We're coming out the little spout. Yes. But the neat thing about the, the streetcar isn't the vehicles themselves or even how great they are for our transportation system, which they are undeniably. It's how much they've done already before it takes on its first passenger for our economy. Okay. When you go around downtown and you see the 24-7 activity, even during the summer when students are gone, right. it's stunning. All different ages. It's not just any age group, but all night long, all day long, there's people on the streets, all these restaurants coming in, retail activities, the, the housing. It's an incredible just explosion in activity along the route, which is something that we've wasted a quarter of a billion dollars in Rio Nuevo on to do virtually nothing. And now we've invested strategically like the 75 million in local mm -hmm. money. And what that has brought forth is something we've always dreamed of. And it's just the beginning. It can continue to spread elsewhere. But if you live on the east side, yeah. you're not a college student. You don't go downtown. Yeah. You're not interested in going from um, the University Medical Center to the west side. Does the streetcar matter to you? Well, the three things. Number one, we're working on extensions already. OK, to where? Extent, well, the, the top extension that's got the interest, and I'm talking with potentially private investors who are interested in putting the, their money up for it so we don't have to pay for it, going from Tucson Mall to the, to the Tucson Airport along Campbell Kino Corridor. Okay. Connecting all the U of A campuses, the Biopark, the, the Kino Hospital, and the Kino Sports Park, and the airport, and, and all the way to Tucson Mall. It's, it, it's an incredible corridor that has right. strong economic development possibilities. But we also have routes, and I, I have a map on streetcarfriends.org, and which you can look at. Actually, it's not on Streetcar Friends. It's on transitadvocates.org for Southern Arizona Transit Advocates, where you can look at what the region could look like at full build out in a number of places. You can go out east. You can go northwest side, go west side, south side. And that stuff we may be able to see in the next 10 to 15 years as people start to understand the economic development mm -hmm. effect and how much benefit they can get from it. It's, it's a huge possibility. But the other thing I would say is uh, this isn't, well, it, number one, try downtown now. It's not okay. like it was even two years ago. Come on down, check it out. And take the bus to get here. That's the best way to get to the streetcar. Um, but number two, during my campaign last time, when my opponent was sending out mailers calling me the streetcar godfather and trying to trash me that way, even though I was quite proud of that, um, I went walking in the district at Ina and Thornydale, right in the middle of the district, pretty far away from the streetcar line. And I got to somebody's door, and I started talking about who I was. And he said, oh, you're the streetcar guy, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm the streetcar guy. And I started explaining mm -hmm. why the streetcar was good. And he's like, no, 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 no. I just wanted to thank you, because you're the reason I have a job right now. And he was working on the streetcar line and the construction. We've already had like 1,200 jobs just off of construction of the streetcar alone. Then all the other jobs in constructing all the housing and new, new shops down that way, the new retail activity that's happened, all of that has a tremendous beneficial regional effect. We have corporate headquarters relocating downtown, TEP with their giant new headquarters, a bunch of other ones coming in. You get Pizzeria Bianco, who could have opened their location, their right. second location anywhere in the world, came to downtown because of what he said was a mix of authenticity and sincerity. It's, it's, it's an amazing place to attract people and to keep U of A grads when they graduate. We had a major brain drain problem. Yes. But now we're one of the hippest cities in the country. Well, that brings me to my last question, which is a lot of people refer to it as the trolley. Yeah. 
and I am a huge, huge, huge Mr. Rogers fan. Fred oh, Rogers yeah. is, he is my <laughs> I hero. I was too. Um, does this go to the land of make-believe? Oh, some may say it's make-believe, but when you actually get there and look around, you realize it's completely real. We've created the land of make-believe for real. Mr. Rogers would be very at home here and he'd be very proud of us for what we did. We grew up and became good, creative people. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for being with us at Newsmakers. Be with us next time. <laughs>